Hi there. I've been working on these guys for a while now and I got a couple of questions on how to sculpt hard edges or sharp edges. Um, yeah, that's what I want to show you today because there's a couple of ways of, of going about it. The first way is actually the easier way from sculpting because that's just not to sculpt it at all. And the way you do that is you add some, let's say I want to make a, a straight edge over here. Uh, the way to do that would be just to add some green stuff. And here I, uh, I have a wet sponge where I can wet my tools. And I sculpt it roughly in the way that I want to have it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, as long as it's flat, flat enough. And then once it's dry, uh, you just take a sharp knife and you cut the edge away. And now it's uh, the, the green stuff is still soft, so it won't look as nice, but you'll get the idea because it is a really sharp straight edge. And if you do it when it's dry, the top uh, corner will be sharp as well. So that's uh, the way to do it without actually sculpting it. And that's also how I did it for these. So I sculpted actually over the edge and I took a small knife and uh, followed the edge of the, uh, the, the plate to cut the excess away. Next step, if you want to tidy it up even a bit more, is just to sand the top off now with a uh, with a file. And that's also what I did for the Tartros video I did a while back. So that's uh, like the non-sculpting way of going about it, which works pretty fine and uh, works uh, very well if you are not that experienced sculpting green stuff. Now the next method is to actually sculpt it. And that doesn't have to be very hard either, it just takes a bit more time, sculpting and a bit more practice. So you start out the same way, you add some green stuff, you get your tools a bit wet and then uh, sculpt it on roughly in the shape that you want to have it. Um, and now you can just start pushing it around until it becomes sharp. And the thing is, people usually stop right around here. Uh, and I'll exaggerate it so that you can see it better. But what you get is you get these uh, you get these rounded edges. It's not a sharp corner, but it's like the the glazing on a cake or something. And that will look uh, yeah not very nice once it's finished, because you really want a sharp edge like you have here, right? Just a, a hard edge. And the way to do that is to actually push it over the edge where you want to have it, and then work it back again. And then do that a couple of times, just rub it down. Just go back and forth, keep your tools lubricated. Push it one way, push it back, push it one way, push it back. All the way until you get a very nice sharp edge. So this is already looking a lot better. Yeah, so if you want to have a corner, Maybe that one's interesting too. Where you have two sharp edges intersecting, just do the same thing. Keep moving it around until you're satisf satisfied with how it looks. It will actually uh, get better the longer you work on it. So the secret here is just time. So it's not perfect, uh, but it's close enough. And what I would do if it's just a really a flat surface. Once, it, uh, once it's hardened, I would just take a file and file it down a bit more and then the, the edges will get even sharper. Hope this comes across in the camera. Yeah, so that's it. One other trick, if you want to go around a corner, uh, you can do the same thing just by pushing it back and forth. That uh, is a nice way to start, is actually just pinch it. Which is a trick that they use uh, tons of times in sculpting. Then you get your fingers a bit wet. And that will start you off with a nice uh, sharp corner, which I just destroyed by sculpting it. So those, those are two quick ways. And as I said, once it's cured, I would just finish it up either by cutting away a little bit more with a sharp knife to get even sharper edges. As you see, it won't work if it, uh, the green stuff is soft because then you end up with this, the rounded edge again. Uh, and by filing it down um, as well, you can get a long way. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.